Erica Emmamore is on the minds of classmates, teachers, and family, and so are the four others who survived that car accident. Amazing Grace and Grace United Methodist Church is where people came together tonight to pray for Emma Moore and her family. Those who attended this Tuesday vigil also lit those symbolic candles for the four other people in the vehicle with Emma, including Grace and Kathleen, Aiden and Cynthia. The community gathering was a chance to console, as you can see there, and care for each other during this difficult time. The most important part for students is to be able to uh, reach out and know that people there are caring about them and will support them. Um, we may not have the answers, but we'll definitely be there to support and uh, guide and help and love them. And Erica, before coming on the air tonight, I spoke to Superintendent Clendenin. and he says counselors will be available. He also wants students to know if uh, they see classmates struggling in the hallways or during lunch break to reach out to an adult. They want to help. Help is available for any student there at Franklin Community High School at any time. So important that there is someone to talk to and turn to the about The support it. is there. Thank you, Raphael.